everybody. Welcome back to Rusty and Nellie's Jungle. So today I've decided to take on a few projects. There are a couple of spaces in the house that have really been bothering me. So I'm going to take you through it as best I can, show you the end result, and hopefully you enjoy it. So I was fiddling around in this corner and this piece of wood here kept falling down sideways and I kind of wanted to use it so the micans could climb up it and it just had more of a a bit of a jungly feel encourage it to climb along the walls and stuff until uh till I decide to move it to a different spot so I did wind up placing a little screw in the wall there and clearly messed up the paint but you won't see that when I put the plant back but I also discovered that she needs to be repotted so the micans here, I took it out of this little pot just to make sure that it didn't have a buildup of water in the catch pot underneath, which it doesn't. But all of these long, long roots are coming out the bottom of the pot. So she definitely needs a bigger pot so that those leaves aren't sitting in the bottom of the little catch tray there. So we will repot it and put it okay, back. So we've got her all set back up and I've got her pressed so that she's encouraged to climb up that nice piece of driftwood there, which I think adds a really nice look. My next problem was this Hoya pubicalix here. And these long tendrils that she had were trying to climb up underneath the cupboards and through that little crack up there and that just wasn't working so clearly this little piece of driftwood that I've added in there for her was not large enough to uh, maintain the amount of growth that she was going to have since I brought her in here literally was like this little tiny little tiny plant when I got her and now she's grown like another foot so I've placed this piece of wood here so let's see if I can manage to set that up so that it looks a little more natural, gives her something to climb, and then maybe it'll encourage her to kind of climb in this empty space in the wall here. All right, so we've got her kind of pressed into the grooves there. Hopefully that'll, I had to wrap this long tendril around the back of that to keep her headed across the wall instead of up into the bottom of the cupboards because that just wasn't doing anybody any good. So hopefully, she will start going across to the Meekins and I'm hoping the Meekins will go across here and then across this empty space of the wall here. All right, so we've got all the plants back in that corner now. I just threw that little tiny piece of driftwood that I had in the Hoya over here with the carry eye just to kind of pull that wood look around. So hopefully these guys are happy with that. Now if I could just figure out what to do with my mess of utensils. Although it's very convenient to keep them right there beside the stove. This little corner is becoming a lot more jungle-like and I kind of like it to be a little bit more that's what you look at, not the mess beside the stove. Okay, <clears throat> so now I have this issue of I like this corner so much with the driftwood like this that I went and stole some driftwood from the garden that we had set out there so that I could actually do that in the rest of the sections of the kitchen that have uh, the plants set up along the shelves. So I'm going to dry those off and so we're going to start with this wall here because you can tell like the wall itself it's just so blank behind these plants and I repotted a bunch of these a couple days ago and found these plastic trays sitting in my Tupperware drawer that I never actually use for serving things anymore so I've kind of lined them up and stuck them underneath the pots to catch any water because kind of running low on trays and really don't want to go out just for that um so now it looks too organized, too plain. So I've got this big piece here that I'm gonna try to put hopefully on an angle across there to give it just a little bit of depth and 
some better look so that everything is kind of blending in together. Okay, so I got that piece of wood fastened to the wall and that actually looks so much cooler. So I did move all the plants around. I took one of the air plants out and stuck it in this little crevice just because it kind of fills out that upper part. I moved one of the heart leaf philodendrons from the middle shelf wall over to here because it was growing okay, but I feel like this will uh, kind of help it to spread out and it helped fill in that wall so it wasn't so bland in behind the plants. And then we've got a little reach around here in the corner, just moved a couple of them around. And I'll probably try to figure something out with that because that is driving me crazy. And I still have this little corner over here to do, but clearly have to clean up my water bottles and my clean dishes that I did this morning. And then we can start putting some wood over there and make it look a little bit more jungly too. And we'll see how it looks in a minute. All right, so we've got this done. I did have to go outside and grab another piece of wood because the two little ones I had in here just didn't feel like quite enough. So move some Hoyas around. I did have to repot this guy because I forgot that it was still propagating roots at one point. So it was still in just straight uh, cocoa core. So he's got some real soil now. Might actually thrive a little bit better. But I've got this here is the piece of wood that I went out and got. This rickrack cactus was getting way too wild. So now I've kind of got it pushed up in a lot of those pieces so that it's got more of a climbing feel to it. And now the Anthurium Superbum is out and much more visible. It's not hidden in the back of the corner anymore. And it kind of feels like I actually, well, I guess cleaning helps it feel like it has more space too, but I just feel like that looks so much more put together. Now, don't mind the mess that's still around here. I did move some stuff around, but the kitchen now doesn't look like it has all of those blank spaces in behind it anymore, so it doesn't feel so out of place. And I did move that clutter of stuff over to this, that's now the messy side of the counter. We don't have any grow lights over there anyway, so that's where the clutter can kind of find itself. And because it's right around the corner from the other room, it's a lot easier for me to look at that. Get up in the morning to make your coffee and this is your view. Still haven't figured out what to do with the stuff from the coffee maker, but I will suss that out at some point. So that's that project. This is what I do with my day. All right, so we have this counter all sussed out now. Look at that. And I have somehow managed to open up this little space right here that I could probably put some low light plants on. But for now, that is the kitchen project for today. Okay, so after putting the driftwood up in the kitchen, I started thinking, okay, I'm gonna sit down and take a break. And I sat at the spot beside the fireplace and I kept looking at it and thinking how freaking cool would that fireplace look if it was like a cave-like experience in it instead of everything just sitting in front of the mesh in front. So this has started happening. I went out and stole more driftwood from the garden outside, dried it all off and have tucked it in here. Um, I do have a clip-on light that was under that section over there that originally was shining on this window, but once we put that other legend table in there, 
it really was only hitting like the bottom section of leaves on that umbrella tree. So we are going to utilize that to direct into the little cave. And now I just have to figure out exactly how I want to place the plants. And after putting the wood there, I've decided I definitely want something in that back corner. I just haven't settled on what I'm going to place there yet. Except maybe... No, I want that Hoya to climb along that brick. We will see. I will play with some stuff and figure out what's going to go where. I do think... I kind of have to consider height of things. Okay, so I've taken a little break from arranging the plants for a moment to give Rusty an opportunity to hook up the lights so that there's actually grow lights hitting these plants in there. Um, it was kind of dark while I was working in there. I kind of didn't really think about the angle the lights would have to be at. So he'll get that done and then I can go back to organizing these plants. So I think I'm done arranging the plants. I might fiddle with a few here and there if I decide I don't like their placement, but everything is now kind of tucked in and around like a little jungle. I've got the one light hidden behind the frog guy that my dad got me for Christmas. The other one is over here. So we've got plenty of light hitting the back. I threw some of my air plants in there because it just looked like it needed something up in that piece of wood. And now when you look at it, instead of it just being a ledge, it actually has some depth going on. That's the fireplace project. Okay. So I think that's the end of the projects for today. <laughs> I am a little bit spent and it is coming up on dinner time. So thankfully I still have leftovers from last night. So as you can see, the kitchen counters now look so much more interesting than they did before. Instead of just having plants placed around on the counters, they, out, they now look more integrated in and there's something else around them that draws your eye to the, the surroundings instead of it just looking like a mess of plants. And the one I'm really going to enjoy tonight while I'm sitting in my spot watching some stupid thing on Netflix is this new view. The depth that going into the fireplace really added is absolutely stunning um i do recommend that if you are going to use an old fireplace for this i have filled the the chimney part with insulation so it's not actually a functional fireplace anymore there isn't a draft coming in that's going to upset these plants at all they're getting just as much heat as the rest of the plants in the house so if you are going to try something like that with your fireplace, make sure that you insulate it well so that your tropical plants are not getting that cold winter draft. And what about Santa Claus? Uh, we are not going to discuss Santa Claus. <laughs> I still haven't told Rusty about that. He doesn't. So that is the end of my day. I am going to go and heat up some dinner and I will probably do some more projects around the house this week and post them as well because now I have some huge ideas for things that I wanna do. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great night.